G'day fishing fans and uh, welcome to something which is a little bit out of my uh, comfort zone. Bass fishing firstly, there goes the Garmin on the way up the lake but this is the first day of the storm Bass Australian Open on Glenbourne Dam. Plenty of fish caught, fish everywhere, clear water and we started the first day off with a top water. Before you get here on the end of one of these real long cars, probably. Yeah. Got every stick in the. Oh, you're right. <laughs> this bass ate a little $2 popper from a specials bin that I bought in Japan earlier in the year, but to be honest, I don't think it would have mattered what you were throwing up in the shallows. The first hour in the morning at Glenboard was absolutely off the charts. What? The top water. Yeah, little fella, little cup face popper. And I don't mind working these topwater baits rather aggressively for bass. They don't mind it at all. Hey, how's the bit? Handled it, eh? Yeah, wanted it. Oh. As soon as the sun came out, that top water bite really slowed down, so it was time to pick up the skirted jig and go to work. You see a lot of photos of blokes with meteries, but you've got to put the hours in to get them. You know, people think that, like, oh yes, they go to Cape and they get a metery first trip. That's right, you think everyone's getting meteries. Yeah. Same size this morning, all high 30s. Now I'm definitely no expert when it comes to fishing skirted jigs for Australian bass, but Tom Slater took me through the theory and it all makes sense. He says when the water hits 16 degrees, the crayfish all come out and the bass start feasting on them. The water temp for this event was between 18 and 19 degrees Celsius and that crayfish dash jig bite really turned on. You'll notice how slow both myself and most of the field fish these skirted jigs. You just drag it along the bottom, feeling for a bite, and when you do feel that bite, you've got to set those hooks. This. So you set it, get one before you get around the point. <laughs> Smallest one yet, I think, but he's got one of those funny hair lips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check what he's if you need it. Look how skinny that one is. Yeah. <laughs> one of the other things I learned was that just because you miss the fish on the first bite doesn't mean they're not going to come back time and time again. Um. This bass has at least three goes at the lure before it finally swallows it and I can set the hook. And in case you're wondering, my jig outfit is a 7 foot 1 heavy action 13 fishing rod paired with a 6.8 to 1 gear ratio 13 fishing concept reel and 12 pound straight through sunline fluorocarbon. Actually, not that little. I'll release the day two highlights soon where the fishing gets even better. <laughs> 